Hi everyone, Mark here, Rapid Response behind the camera. We're gonna do this video a little different today. This is a Chevy 3500 that we built for Albrightsville Fire Department. Uh, we're on slider switch three. We have the e-brake set and it's in neutral, so it thinks it's being driven down the road. So if you see the push bar here, we have a ranch hand push bar, wheel and summit light on the front. These outer modules here are actually uh, front scene lights. You see all the grill lights in there as well. You actually can see them pretty well through the push bar. The reason why that's like that is because we made a custom mount kit right here uh, where you pull a pin, and then all you have to do is take out one bolt, and this whole bar comes off, and that allows them to hook up their plow mount right here, and allows them to pull them with their plow. So one guy can easily pull the pins, two bolts, slide this push bar off. We have quick connects here for the lights, so real simple with that and then pull that off and then they still have all their grill lights there in the front. We're using wheel and T-ions in the grill and uh, we have a pair of headlight flashers there in the front as well. Up in the roof, we have a wheel and Liberty 2 light bar. That Liberty 2 light bar is in red white flashing mode right now and the Opticom's on it. Obviously you can't see it, it's an infrared Opticom. We have T-ions on the side. We have wheel and tracers here at the bottom. Our graphics are done 100% in-house. This is actually uh, printed on engine turn. So if you look here real close, you can actually see in, in the material here, the uh, actual uh, engine turn material that the blue actually shows it. It's pretty neat. We print that blue right on it. So pretty cool. Customer uh, color match the rest of their vehicles. We put a set of method wheels on it aluminum wheels. The whole undercoating is done with the uh, PSC Berkelbile undercoating. Um, as you can see here, it protects rusting and things like that. We actually undercoated the uh, inner fenders here as well with uh, protection um, uh, PPC coating. We had them um, custom sprayed. Customers up north here in PA and deals with a lot of rust and salt, so this helps that issue. Inside, this is gonna be their med compartment. We added an outlet here, their Narcan lockbox. Put little straps on all the doors, as you can see right here. So if you're shorter, you don't have any problems getting the doors down because they do up, they do go up pretty high. We're at the back of the vehicle. We have a strip light series here at the bottom. We have T-ions up the top. We have a Phoenix Fusion dual color light stick across the top so we get the arrow stick function of the dual color. Pair of taillight flashers. Kuzmal eject is hidden very nicely here in the back bumper. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the door. It won't let me put the tailgate down here because I got it in I got it in drive, so I'll go back up here and change that in one second. We have a sole mounted here, another outlet, some chargers, flashlights, etc. Go up front here. So if you notice here, there's alarm sounding because the tailgate's up. So I have it set on the mercury switch. It's gonna sound that alarm. Some custom built map pockets. This has wheel and carbide in it. So it has all your different siren tones. And then all your switches across the top for scene lights and etc. across the top. So we'll put this into a park here real quick. Turns off that light that you can see that was flashing. Now if we go to the back, we can hit that button drops down. We got some TI-ons here on the bottom of the extended bed. This extended bed's 110% pull out, so it's gonna pull out the whole way. We have custom fabrication from our Revengent Apparatus Manufacturing Shop. So we mounted all this stuff for them. Custom built backboard tray that you can see there. Another outlet. The Xantrex inverters up underneath, up front there, hanging from the bottom. That allows 110 voltage to pass through, allows it to charge a truck at the same time. And it allows 110 when the 
truck is running and not plugged in. So they always have 110 to their outlets. This is the uh, enforcer system from Fire Aid, pretty cool. So this is a high pressure uh, extinguisher system. We custom extended the hoses. There's an extra cylinder right here that you can pull through. We put a little sneak hole in here. Extra cans of foam that they can keep up top here. And then right here is where they pressurize the system. And then to replace the bottles, they can pull these out to replace the bottles. The strap across here holds the irons and stuff in. And then a little hole right here, hold the nozzle. You can easily put out a car fire or anything with this system. It's pretty slick. So the truck is extremely universal to the community for them. They can uh, use it for brush fires. They can um, small brush fire stuff. They can use it for car fires, dumpster fires, things like that. And uh, believe it or not, this fire aid system will actually uh, put it out without any problem. If there is ever, ever such thing, it's making water more making water more wet that's exactly what this system does we have uh, a can here to slide in there there are uh, signs for their stands that are mounted up front there got some technique lighting in here as well that turns on so this is just one of the many projects we're super crazy busy at rapid response right now sorry for the different video but we wanted to get you this video out so you can see what this looks like I'm not going to go over all the function today. It's a, it's a ton of function on this. Just know that all the white lights turn on the scene lights, which just pushes the buttons. We got the lights at the top. Like I said, we got the we got the tracers along the bottom. Give us a sun, you know, extra side warning. Remember, it's secondary warning. They're not primary. Pull the vehicle across the roadway. At least you can see it. So now we're back in park and uh, we turned off the white flashing if you notice that slowed the pattern down a little bit as well just going back and forth gives you that a different effect if you need anything we can help you we're all across the world we just sold a vehicle to honolulu police department so we have no problem building vehicles from east to west north to south no matter the direction give us a call check us out on youtube Instagram, other social media platforms as well. Make sure you stop in and ask one of us for a tour. We'd be happy to give you a facility tour. It takes about a half hour, 45 minutes. Thanks everybody and have a fantastic day.